welcome to grade 11 English online class. You need to vocabulary. Let us move on to the page number 39. Take your textbook, page number 39, vocabulary. Let us move on to abbreviations. So here you might have seen that abbreviations. Note the abbreviation used in the following sentence taken from the lesson, The Queen of Boxing. In the quarterfinal, I defeated Nadia Homke of Poland by RSC. Here, the expansion of RSC is Referee Stopped Contest. Look at the other abbreviation used in the lesson, USA, United States of America, IBA, Association Internationale de Boxe Amateur. So you might have seen here USA and IBA. So here USA, United States of America. So USA, we are splitting and telling it is abbreviations and acronyms. Acronym means the word connect joining together and we will be pronouncing that as a word. IBA, A, I, B, A, we won't say. IBA, we will say. So it is an acronym. Okay, so here association internationally de boxy amateur. So here they have given the exercise. Let us move on to that. Write the expanded forms of the following abbreviations we commonly come across in our daily life. So there is at nearly 25 questions it is given there. Uh, let me go for telling the answers to note it down. The answer for the first one. IELTS. International English Language Testing Service, GST, Goods and Service Tax, TNPSC, Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission, STD, Subscribers Trunk Dialing, ISD, International Subscribers Dialing, MBA, Master of Business Administration, MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource Development, GPS, Global Positioning System, NSS, National Service Scheme, PTA, Parent Teachers Association, NGO, Non-Governmental Organization, ICU, Intensive Care Unit, IIM, Indian Institute of Management, MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, ECG, Electrocardiogram, NCC, National Cadet Corps, LED, Light Emitting Diode, CPU, Central Processing Unit, CBSE, Central Board of Secondary Education, GDP, Gross Domestic Product, LCD, Liquid Crystal Display, NRI, Non-Residential Indian, IIT, Indian Institute of Technology, ITI, Industrial Training Institute, USB, Universal Serial Bus Okay, the abbreviations has completed. Next, we will move on to the next one, B. Note the underlined words in the sentences below. They are antonyms formed by adding prefixes un and dis to the base words. So, here there is two examples. The boxes were not unbeatable as I had earlier thought. So unbeatable is the word. It is underlined. And uh, the antonyms for beatable is unbeatable. Okay. The greatest disadvantage for me was my loss of appetite. So advantage, antonym, disadvantage. So using the word un and dis. The word meaning is changing into antonym. Okay. Now the next one. Now form the opposites of the words given below by prefixing un, in, dis, ir, il appropriately. 
okay the words is given here you can do that okay Let's check the answer fortunate unfortunate respect disrespect rational irrational direct indirect comfortable uncomfortable regular irregular active inactive agree disagree obedient disobedient continue discontinue decent indecent legitimate illegitimate regular irregular aware unaware finite infinite necessary unnecessary in page number 40 c idioms related to sports so here the world of sports has given us many idiomatic expressions like blow by blow read the description of each of the idioms given below then match these idioms with their meaning given in the box you can see in the end of the page there is a box given the heading meaning okay a state of uh, near collapse or defeat so like this five words or sentences are given so you can select the answer meaning from the box okay first one throw in the towel wet towels are kept near a boxing ring to wipe the sweat of boxers between rounds when a boxer was getting badly beaten his manager would throw a towel in the ring to end the fight so the answer you have to choose so what is the answer for this first one is e that is to give up second one in our corner in a boxing match the corners are the two opposite angles of your boxing ring where the boxers rest between rounds so the second one answer is d on your side in an argument or dispute third one on the ropes boxing rings are typically enclosed by four ropes as a boxer when your opponent has forced you against the ropes with his or her attack you are in trouble so the third one answer is a state of near collapse or defeat next one fourth below the belt hits below the belt line are generally considered illegal in boxing so the fourth one answer is b unfair or unsupporting behavior fifth one square off facing each other at the beginning of your match answer c prepare for a conflict so the page number 40 is completed let us move on the book back and the poem book back you need to poem book back so take your book textbook page number 54 based on your understanding of the poem answer the following questions in a sentence or two a why does the poet feel glad that he does not play any game answer the poet feels glad that he was not a player but only a spectator he is glad because the risk of injuring himself and others is more if he becomes a player second do you think the narrator is uh, heroic why answer i don't think the narrator a poet is heroic a hero is one who confronts any challenge and acts on it and fights to the end the narrator is happy as a non participant observer of heroic and rough games c the poet is satisfied just watching the heroic deeds of others what could be the reason answer the poet is very sensitive he derives vicarious pleasure on seeing the play of all the players he is not after glory 
medals and not interested in inflicting injury on any opponent so he is happy staying out of all rough games d the point does not wish to exchange position with the runners why answer the point does not wish to break any world record in running he knows that athletes have no feelings for their fellow players so the point does not want to exchange position with the runners e are the athletes conscious of the feelings of others why do you say so answer no the athletes are zealous in their endeavor to win in the process they go to the extent of maiming fellow players the player's focus is mostly of on winning and he is naturally not conscious of the feelings of others f why would the referee ask whether there was a doctor in the stands what stands is he referring to answer when boxing contests go on one tries to crack the wrist or snap the knee of the other boxer when such an event takes place a referee asks for a doctor to provide first aid to the fatally wounded wrestler or boxer the stands refers to the boxing ring g why does the point refer to buy tickets worth their weight in radium bring out the significance of the metal referred to here answer radium is more expensive than diamonds it is a rare metal discovered by Ma- madam curie the point was ready to buy tickets and expensive as radium just to stay as a spectator so the question answers completed next we'll move on to the next room letter read the poem again and complete the summary using the words given in the box so there is a uh, box it is given the options from that you have to fill the blanks okay uh, let me read and tell you the answers note it down in the poem confessions of a born spectator ogden nash talks about how people choose different sports in their lives or decide to become athletes while admiring the talents of athletes a sportsman the poet first answer confesses that he is glad that he is neither a sportsman nor an athlete children have different aims second answer aims and wish to play various games each child has in mind something in particular but the narrator is third answer glad he is not one of the players though the narrator fourth answer admires the talents of all athletes he derives satisfaction from watching them but does not wish to fifth answer exchange places with them he also sometimes regrets that sixth answer zealous Athletes play rough games without caring for the feelings of their sporting rivals. He feels that good sense and caution win over ego. The narrator wholeheartedly offers seventh answer thanksgiving. The modest eighth answer physic of athlete ultimately the narrator is ninth answer satisfied. that he himself is not an athlete so check the answers with this okay the next one is a paragraph okay you can go for learning any one paragraph common paragraph it is not compulsory to learn the three paragraphs also what is given in the book back okay next we'll move on to the next roman letter fourth one read the given lines and answer the questions that follow in a sentence or two poem lines With all my heart I do admire athletes who sweat for fun or higher. Question 1 Whom does the poet admire? Answer The poet admires athletes who play games. Question 2 For what reasons do the athletes sweat? Answer The athletes play and sweat for fun or money. Next one B 
Well, ego it might be pleased enough, but zealous athletes play so rough. Question 1. What pleases the ego? Answer. When players outsmart their opponents and crack their vertebrae and spine, the ego is pleased. Question 2. Why are athletes often rough during play? Answer. Enthusiastic athletes in a bid to impress umpires and the spectators play roughly. Besides, they have no feelings for their opponents in the ring or playground. Next question. Poem lines. C. When official dumb demands, is there a doctor in the stands? Question number one. Why are doctors called from stands by the sponsors? Answer. The doctors are called from the stands by the sponsor to attend a badly hurt and bleeding athlete. Question number two. Why does the poet make such an observation? The poet does not wish to swap place with either heroes or victims of brutal sports. So he makes this remark. Next poem line. When snaps the knee and cracks the wrist, identify and explain the use of the literary device in this line. Answer. Onomatopoeia is used here. Next Roman letter 5. A. Explain the following with reference to the context in about 50 to 60 words each. So the poem line is given. You have to identify what poem it is. You have to write in the reference. This poem is taken from A Confession of a Born Spectator by Ogden Nash. And you have to write the explanation, then context. This three heading is needed for this exercise. Okay. So by seeing this model, you can go for writing the answer. It is not compulsory to learn as it is what is given in this answer. Okay. Next, Roman letter B. Read the poem and complete the table with suitable rhyming words. So it is given enter, center rhyming word is given. The next one answer, jockey, hockey. Admire, hire. Pomp, romp. Feeds, deeds. Score, flow. Please, these. Fist, wrist. Demands, stands. Radium Stadium. C. Underline the alliterated words in the following lines. Question 1. For this most modest physic. Most modest. M. M. Is the alliterator word. Second one. They do not ever in their dealings. Do dealings. D, D, you have to underline. This is the alliterated words. D, find out the rhyme scheme of the given stanza. One infant grows up and becomes a jockey. Another plays basketball or hockey. This one the prize ring hates to enter. That one becomes a tackle or center. So find the rhyming scheme for this. So the last word, jockey. Hockey. So, A, A. Enter, center. So, B, B. So, the rhyming scheme of this answer, of this paragraph is. The next one. Take page number 63, unit 2, supplement reader book back. Rearrange the sentences given below and write a summary of the story in a paragraph. Begin with, Philip Slatherboy was traveling by the train to Brilmana. So, with this sentence, you have to begin the rearranging sentence. The remaining everything, it is given in a wrong one. You have to rearrange that in a correct form. Okay. So, the question is given here. Okay. Let me tell you the answer. First one, the sentence, what is given already? Is the first sentence. Philip Slatherboy was traveling by train to Brilmana. Okay. The answer for this is second one. His companion in the train was a young man who was searching for something frantically. That is the L answer is the second sentence. Next one, third answer. The young man introduced himself as Bertie, the son of Sultan Jago. 
Fourth answer, E. Bertie had left his purse behind after sealing an envelope with the crest on the purse. B answer, Bertie needed three pounds desperately and asked Slatherby to lend it to him. Fifth point. Next one. Sixth point. I. He explained that the Salton crest was that of a demi lion. Seventh point. K. Slatherby pointed out to him that his mother's letter had a greyhorn current crest. Eighth point, Bertie stated that it was the Jago crest. He further added that his mother's hair was dark brown similar to his. F answer, that is. Ninth one, suspecting foul play, Slatherby did not give him any money as he knew Mrs. Salton Jago was a blonde. The next point, 10th one, D answer. He was received by cloud people KZ who had kept on talking about various things. 11th answer, C. All the time Slatherboy was gazing at the door panel of the car on which were the two crests, a demi lion and a greyhound current. 12th answer, G. While describing the appearance of Honorio Sultan Jago, KZ referred to her Altered hairstyle. Thirteenth answer, J. Slatherby sat dumbstruck on learning that Mrs. Sal Honoria Salton Jago had changed her dark brown hair to a blonde just five weeks ago. Then fourteenth one, Slatherby realized that Bertie had not lied to him but that he had mistaken him for a fraud. Okay, so the rearranging the sentence till 14 sentence is completed. Okay, hope you have understood the unit one, unit two vocabulary answers, and uh, I have given you the homework from unit two question answers from the prose, uh, from the poem appreciation question answer, and from the paragraph go for learning uh, supplementary reader paragraph. Okay, so complete these all things. We will see in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.